One, two, you know what to do. It's great to be a Michigan Wolverine. It's great. I'm originally from Plymouth, Michigan. It's about 25 minutes away from Ann Arbor. Putting on that uniform uh, was really a surreal experience for me. I grew up in Southfield, Michigan, right outside of Detroit. I couldn't imagine myself anywhere else but the University of Michigan. The first time for sure I went to a game was my brother's freshman year. I was about 11 years old. He was in the stands when we played Michigan State, Ohio State. Seeing the scenery, seeing the big house, being not only feeling the energy, but also experiencing emotions to see my brother succeed. He was forged to, you know, understand of what Michigan football really is, and he always wanted to be a part of it to follow in my footsteps. Incorporating the family and bringing them up in the Michigan football Saturdays was very important to us. And just give them a little bit of a, a touch of what me as a player and a student athlete had at Michigan. Going to those games and knowing, you know, that my dad played there and, you know, my mom went there. And so, you know, we have all this kind of history. It's in my blood. Putting on those jerseys, wearing maize and blue, it just feels like a warrior and you're just so locked in and it's so much emotion and anticipation and adrenaline that's rushing through your body as you're walking through that tunnel. When I got to put on that jersey and um, go out that tunnel and touch that banner, you know, it was everything that I ever dreamed of. It was super emotional seeing Aiden run out. I couldn't quite wrap my head around it. Chris, Chris was telling me he had allergies next to, <laughs> as he was standing next to me. I think I took it for granted, you know, because you don't know what you really have until it's gone. But the beautiful thing about it is, my brother was able to go through this same process. So I, you know, reiterate to him how important it is to cherish the moments that you have. You will never get this experience back. I don't know how it's gonna feel walking out that tunnel for the last time. It's gonna be different, man. Memories like that and feelings like that, you never forget. We still have my season tickets. I would pull the season tickets apart. It's this physical act of tearing your your season tickets, looking at this physical reminder that this is it. Once I tear this last thing off, there's nothing left. And it's, it gave a, a finality for me for the, for the game. You know, when we, when we tore that Indiana ticket off, there's just one set of tickets sitting there, and it's Ohio State. Taking the field for my last home game, you know, I can't believe, you know, the, this chapter of my life you know, is coming to an end. It's gonna be something that it's gonna be hard to grasp. It's gonna be emotional. I'm back from my last ride here. And when I tell you I have given everything to ensure that we have success this season, I'm willing to die for this, I swear. Like, I, I want it more than anyone. I promise you that. What I said in that media day has a chance to come true. All of our goals are still in front of us. It's set! All the seniors, all my teammates, we've been working all year, preparing all year. It's coming to the time where, you know what I'm saying, it's time to go get it. We're so close. Great defense by the Wolverines. I'm ready to do anything I can to reach that goal. It is another first down for Ohio State. Herb's back back, gets some heat. 97, that's Chris Hutchinson. I have five rings now, and all the fifth year seniors that I came in with, we have five rings, and that's something uh, after we got our second one, we just only dreamed about, and you know, it's a dream come true. I went 4 0 and 1 against Ohio State. For Aiden to win his last Ohio State game, especially at home, would be a culmination of his entire career because he's tried so hard and put everything into this, and they haven't had success. Underneath, Austin Mack, burst of speed, touchdown, Buckeyes. I mean, there's so many layers to this that we have been struggling with against this team. This would be Aiden's legacy. My record versus Ohio State, 0-4, man. I, I didn't get one. 
and it's Barry. He'll keep it himself, and he's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. Playing Ohio State is everything, and to win that game, I know some guys have traded in some wins, some losses just to win that game right there. I've talked to Josh about it, and the significance of it is like guys in my position who've never beat them. He's not only playing for his team, himself, his family, but he's playing for the whole Wolverine Nation. We weren't able to play last year, and we got that opportunity now this year, and it's here. We got a lot of stuff on the line this year. You know, we got the Big Ten Championship, playoff hopes. If we can just focus on the process, focus on um, every play by itself, I mean, I think we can be successful and achieve our goals.